When we consider the ability of birds to stay warm, fly, and dazzle the world with color, the seemingly ordinary feather is revealed to be an extraordinary structure. This is Mike Fitz with Explore.org. Let's take a few moments to explore the amazing feather, a physical superpower, a super adaptation that is unique to birds and primes their ability to survive. Feathers allow birds like chickadees, kinglets, and red poles, birds that weigh only a few grams, with the insulation necessary to endure extreme cold, including wintertime temperatures as low as minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit, and all without burdening birds with excessive weight. The feathers of some birds, such as owls, make up about half the bird's volume, yet the entire feather coat commonly accounts for only 5 to 10 percent of a bird's weight. Feathers are not only lightweight, they are also exceptionally strong for their weight. To provide strength while reducing mass, feather shafts are filled with a closed foam structure. The shape of the shaft also transitions from round to rectangular toward the feather tip. Since square tubes possess a higher stiffness than circular tubes across the same area and thickness, the slight change in shape provides feathers with greater strength where the forces generated by flapping flight are strongest. Furthermore, feathers work with air to minimize the energy necessary for flight. Quite unlike the wing of an airplane, feather vanes are permeable to air. They contain channels for airflow between interlocking barbules. On the downstroke, The barbules lock together to generate lift, while on the upstroke, primary wing feathers separate slightly to allow airflow and prevent excessive downward forces on the wing. In this way, flight feathers act as one-way valves. Combined with the bones in a bird's wing, feathers form an airfoil capable of handling intense forces. While feathers generate lift, provide insulation, and shed water, that is far from the limit of a feather's properties. Feathers even manipulate light to produce an amazing array of colors and patterns. Bird feathers often contain pigments that absorb and reflect light, like the pigments in our own skin and hair. But some bird feathers have structural features that are fine enough to scatter and refract light. This produces colors and color combinations that pigments cannot. The plumage of the mountain bluebird, for example, almost lacks pigment entirely. Its feather color is structural, created by the specific arrangement of proteins and air in the feather. Just as the water droplets that create a rainbow are not colored, structural colors in feathers are produced by the arrangement of uncolored tissues that interact with light, yet have no color themselves. In this way, bird feathers can be blue, violet, and a kaleidoscope of iridescence. The superpower of the feather has its kryptonite though. Birds need a lot of energy and often a lot of time to regrow feathers. They spend significant amount of time preening to maintain feathers and remove parasites. Pollutants like crude oil can also foul feathers beyond a bird's ability to clean them. Despite these limitations, the feather remains a superb structure, one that human engineers imitate but have yet to truly replicate and apply to our technology. Feathers evolved from simple beginnings in dinosaurs to their modern forms in birds over millions of years. They are a marvelous adaptation, a superpower of beauty, form, function, and survival.